keeping in line with our gospel. Today, I will speak on teaching in parables, learning by divination. The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. Ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Now you might ask, why did Jesus speak and teach in parables? Why didn't he just say what he meant to say and be done with it? As we hear in the Gospel, the prophet said, I will announce what has lain hidden from the foundation of the world. Parables or story teaching teach at multiple levels and teach in ways that direct instruction, like how things are taught in grade school through high school, do not teach. Story teaching is also the style of teaching in an otherwise illiterate society, so that they may teach others too. With teaching by parable, the student learns through divination of the meaning, implied instruction as it's called. They also learn as well as through internalized messaging. What does this mean to and for me? The message is conveyed simultaneously to all people in an individualistic way something that can't be done in direct instruction in a crowd. In every parable, look at it from the perspective of the entire scriptural reading. Using today's Gospel as an example, um, actually we'll use last Sunday's Gospel as example because I wrote it for that. Um, we have Christ driving out the mute demon, then freed the man speaking. The people are amazed, but the church leaders scoff, claiming Christ does this only because he has the power from the evil one. The second paragraph expands on the first. Christ travels everywhere, curing, quote, of all diseases, close quote, and driving out demons. But while Christ and the poor, sick, and those infested with the demonics are everywhere, there is no sign, no mention of those church elders being everywhere. They are not present where there is the many poor, these many sick, and these many troubled by demons where they are all living in their lives. They are without spiritual guidance. So the second paragraph or scene sets up the final paragraph and scene. The people are needing of spiritual leadership like sheep needing a shepherd. How else would so many demons have gotten in? So Christ notes to his disciples of the need for a shepherd for this flock, as these sheep wander without anyone to tend them. And Christ notes this abundant harvest of souls with no one from the Jewish church to harvest for the kingdom of heaven. So he will harvest them himself with the master of harvests, God's assistance. Who is your shepherd? Where is he or she standing? Do you hear his voice calling your name? bringing you into the flock? 
Are you ready for the harvest? Are you prepared? Are you righteous with the Lord? Do you live with your life so that if Christ took your hand and you were suddenly passing through the veil, would you be ready? Perhaps you die suddenly of a cardiac arrest because someone finally listened to your pleas regarding weakness of COVID or about keeping chickens in the backyard. Be prepared. Be always ready. May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with each of you always. And may the peace of Christ be with anyone who lives with you. And may it be granted to anyone with whom you encounter this week. <laughs>